Today we're going to talk about the device details screen in the settings menu. From the home page, tap settings in the lower right hand corner, devices, and then select a device. And this takes you into the device details screen. The first thing you'll see at the top is the device name, which you can edit just by tapping on the device name. The address can be changed in the same way. There's also an opportunity to add a picture for this device just by tapping on the little picture icon. Then there's a feature for get directions. If you tap on that, it'll actually take you to a mapping application and allow you to get driving directions directly to the location of that device. From here, you'll see device sharing as the next option. If you want to share this device with a homeowner or other user, you can tap device sharing and then add different people as managers or guests to this device. You simply hit the plus sign, generate access code, then the code is generated and copied to your clipboard. From there, you can send that code to anybody. If they add a new device and use that code, then they will see this device also in their device menu. So going back to the device details screen, the next option is connecting to Bluetooth. If you want to control the device directly without having to connect to the Wi-Fi, you can hit connect to Bluetooth to control certain devices that way. You can also determine if this is the active device in the account or if you would like this to be active. The Beehive Pro app will be able to program one device at a time. And so if you want this to be the active device that you can then program or change settings on, you have to make this the active device by tapping there. The next item on this screen is the device run mode, where you can actually change it from auto to off or from off to auto directly from this screen. Then you have the smart watering feature, which you can turn on or off directly from here. Then you have smart watering restrictions. If you tap on this, it allows you to set the times in which you should not be watering with this device. You can also set specific days in which this device should be watering while in smart watering mode. The next option you're going to see is weather adjustments. If you tap on weather adjustments, you'll come to the weather adjustments screen, where the first thing you can do is change the current weather station that your controller is using for its smart watering. You can zoom in on specific areas, and you can choose from either commercially available or personally available weather stations that might be closer and more accurate for your area. By default, we select the closest available commercial weather station to be the default choice. From here, there are several settings about rain delays, wind delays, and freeze delays. For rain delay, you can change the rain delay likelihood based upon the percent chance of rain or the amount of rain that you get, the amount of wind that is likely in your area, and the speed of that wind that would trigger a wind delay, and then the temperature at which you would want to trigger a freeze delay. If you've made any changes on here and want to go back to the factory default, hit reset. The next option on here is system on off date. From here, you can set specific days at which you want this system to be on or off. Next section available on here is notes. If you've visited a location and want to write specific notes about what is seen there, you can type in notes here, and then those notes will be available to you um, for later reference. The next options available to you are the options to update Wi-Fi settings, reset the device connection, and then also deauthorize the device. If you no longer want access to this account, you can hit deauthorize device, and the device will be removed from your account. And that's the device details screen. For more Beehive video tutorials, be sure to visit our YouTube channel.